I'm, you feel me? We dead ass pulling up to some money right now that's finna be inside that DoorDash bag. But let's take a look in here. We're gonna go, I'm gonna count it out right here in front of y'all. Let y'all see. And people probably think I'm regular DoorDash. Do I got my sticker? VIP parking, of course. They go to shop for the ones who don't know. They don't look like nobody in there. That's perfect. They just get in and out. They ain't got to talk. But like I said, yeah, I ain't got no haircut. My facial hair need to be trimmed up. Everything out of there. But we finna go ahead and run into the shop. And uh, got our, damn, the GoPro got stuck on it. We got our, uh, the DoorDash bag. Like I said, I rock this bag because if I come in here with like a, a backpack and throw my money in it, hold on, let me stop doing this then talk. But if I come in here with a backpack and throw my money in it, it's going to look like I'm coming in to get some money. But if I walk in with a DoorDash bag and I look the way I look, look bummy, they probably think, I, oh, he a DoorDash. And that's exactly what I wanted to think. You feel me? So as you can see, yeah. Bag empty. Gonna run here and see how much you made. Gonna lock ourselves in here. We got a famous station. The trophies for the for the barber side of everything. Table sauce. So they went business mode right now. I mean, that's business too, but this is more like entrepreneur business mode. But here got the machine right here. You feel me? You got the card reader. That's where the cash at inside. That's what people try to win. And yeah, we finna pop it open and see how much we made. Let me, uh, I'm gonna set the camera up for you. Hold on, I'm gonna try to set the camera up right here. There we go. I don't know what, what angle it's at, but as y'all can see, try to y'all to see it. It's the blue key. Everybody talk about red keys and Hellcats. This is a blue key. This blue key open up some money. Then, let y'all see it, hold on. It looked pretty full. It looked like we had a pretty good week. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it all in there. But yeah, it looked like we had a, a damn, oh yeah. We had a damn good week. And this week, this was off of no promotion too. Let me. You can see it's empty. This is a representation of, how, representation of how deep it go, how high it is. It's all the way up there. But yeah, we had a pretty good week. That's for sure, at least $200. And that's not including the card sales. You feel me? We see the card sales on our phone, well, on my phone. I'll show y'all that, but yeah. Lock it back up. I said, this is a blue key, not a red key, this is a blue key. But yeah, here go the stuff that's on the, uh, my bad, I had a little pause. We had, here go the stuff that's on the inside, you feel me? I put stacks of money in there, it's a dollar per play. Can't see it, it's kind of glaring. There you go. It's a dollar per play, and uh, they put their dollar in. Matter of fact, I'll take one of these dollars right here and let y'all see how it works. Just for the YouTube, put a dollar in. Damn, we keep glaring. Machine eat the dollar. They got eight seconds to play from whenever they move this. So boom. Pretty much how it worked. 
everybody go for the money. Nobody really cares for the phone on the inside. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically how it works. You feel me? They put their dollar in at the end. All the money is in here. We also get money on the card reader. If somebody wants to pay with uh, somebody wants to pay with Apple Pay, they can do Apple Pay card. They can swipe it. They can chip it. They can even scan. Hold on. They can even scan that, and it'll let them pay. But let's take a look in here. We're going to go to the, well, we locked into the shop, so we can really count it right here. I mean, look, hold on, where it go? I just seen it. It's a damn 20 in here. I swear, I, oh, there you go. You feel me? That's a 20, and I know it's probably, it's definitely probably another 20 inside of there. But yeah, let me, uh, I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to count it out right here in front of y'all, let y'all see. We locked in, we, ooh, shit. We locked in the shop, so you feel me? We ain't worried about nobody coming in here being crazy. Normally, I would go count it in the car, but fuck it. We in the shop, why not? Why not count it in here? I don't know what angle y'all can see. Right here. Damn. See, so that's why I need my damn GoPro to act right. There we go. What, we, what I like to do is I grab all the ones first. Because the ones is the most, it's the hardest part to count. It take the most time. So we're gonna grab all the ones first. Okay, they go to 20, got some fives. But believe it or not, like people, oh shit, look, 20, 20. But like I said, believe it or not, people gonna play, people gonna play it. Separating into fives, fives, ones, and tens. And if we get 20s, we throw 20s. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, you. I rarely, I ain't going to say rarely, probably every other week, I'll see a couple 20s in there. You feel me? That'd be them true gamblers that come leave uh, $20. And for everybody that think this vending machine so for everybody to think this vending machine stuff is uh, a lot to do, bro, you literally, you literally just pull up and collect your money. The only thing that take time is counting. I mean, and the truth about this week, this wasn't even a week where I was promoting it heavy. Like whenever I post the vending machine on my Instagram, whenever I post it on my Snapchat, whenever I'm marketing it saying, oh, $1 play week, that's when, uh, it really go crazy but this look i mean this is about average you feel me it's it's probably gonna be a little bit crazier with those 20s and it's a good amount of fives but you definitely get you feel me a good amount of uh ones and stuff like i said i'm gonna just upload this part and let y'all see it because if i was just to come in here and say oh my vending machine made X amount, you know, I'm gonna have people lying, uh, thinking I'm lying, saying, oh, your machine didn't make this amount. I'm like, bro, I came in here and let y'all see me pull the money out of the machine. Y'all literally watch me walk in the shop, unlock the door, open it up, dump it in the bag, tested it, you feel me? Or some people be like, oh, it's not, people think it's not my machine, they think it's the shop machine. I'm like, bro, I got the key to it, you feel me? I got the blue key. It's, it's me, my machine. They, I done had some of the craziest questions about it, like, oh, what, do you just manage it for the shop? I'm like, no, it's my machine. I I spent the money and got one. Literally, all you got to do is place the machine at a location and let it bring you money, which it's going to do. Like, just off a of guess, this for sure $100 right here in ones. So this for sure $100. This is probably $200 in ones, we've been honest. 
We got the ones right there. I was already separating my fives. Two tens and one, two, three twenties. I'm gonna stack them all up in order. You should know how to count money. Let's see. So let's start off with it. Let me make sure the camera recording because I can't see on the other side. Okay, man, it's still recording. So we're gonna start, you feel me, right here. 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. One, two, three, four, five, six. I really don't feel like counting it again. If anything, I know for a fact, if I'm messing up, I'm counting under. I am I know I'm not counting over. I'm gonna slow down on the video and count it. But anyway, that's 165, 265, 365. Add this right here. One, two, three, four, five, 370, 371. Um, if my other phone was powered on, I would be able to show you the card, how much money came off the card. But let's say 370 that's 370 in one week like i literally cleared out every week so 370 in one week 370 times four let's see 300 times four is uh that's 1200 two, 240 280 so 1480 1480 dollars is what it will make a month as long as it get this amount now keep in mind I told you that this is off of me not even promoting it. This is $370 in one week off of the machine just sitting right here. I put it right here sometimes, sometimes I move it outside, but that's just what the machine make. Because the, the key to these machines, and this is what, uh, let me make sure it's recording. The key to this machine that a lot of people don't realize, they think that a snack machine is more profitable, but the way I look at it, a person only gonna get snacks. Of course, if they see a drink machine in front of them, they more attempted to get a drink machine, right? Because I was debating on putting a snack machine in here or the vending machine or, or the arcade machine. I always say vending, but you know what I mean. But if you see a drink machine, yeah, you might get a drink, but who's to say that they didn't already eat before they came to the shop or they planning on eating and drinking after they, they leave the shop? Because we got a bar next door. We got a bar right there. So it's like the chance of them drinking is slower or lower. But keep in mind, in my mind, what I was thinking, we do have a bar next door. When people are drunk, they spend more money. So that's why when it's the weekend, I'll put the machine directly in front of the shop. A drunk person, right? Like I said, it's all it's all mindset shit. The machine played this loud music. It got this bright light, especially at night. You can see this. A drunk person is going to see this machine. They know it's a barbershop. Win a haircut. Who don't want to win a haircut? Then boom, they walk up to the machine. They see stacks of money. Who don't want no money? They see an iPhone. Who don't want an iPhone? They see AirPods, who don't want an AirPod, right? The plan B is really just all marketing. I put that in there just to catch people's attention. Like I know nobody, people try to win the plan B just to, for shits and giggles, you know, to say they tried to win a plan B. But the reason that plan B is in there because I know that people are gonna see the plan B inside of a, a, a crane machine, which they never seen before. They gonna take a picture of the plan B, post it on their social media, they people gonna ask them, hey, where's that machine at? You feel me? And boom, just like that, it's bringing more traction to my machine, which is why I'm able to bring in $371 off of just cash flow, not even including the money from this. You feel me? So like, it's all it's all a mind thing. It's all like a, I say a mind thing, but you gotta understand, it's like psychological marketing when it come down to this. Now you can't just put it in a location 
and and just make money like that. It's gonna make money no matter what. But if you want to bring in 370 a week or more, you feel me, and have it paying bills for you, you gotta understand something about the marketing. Yeah. Yeah, that nigga Virgo, yo.